I remember watching the last World Cup uh, at home and like with my friends and stuff and I was like, man, that'd be, just be awesome to be there, you know. I mean, I had ambitions, obviously, to try to get there, but I didn't really think that uh, it would come this fast, so I mean, it's just awesome. Two years ago, no, I was definitely not thinking about the national team or anything. I was in college thinking about college soccer, and yeah, I never thought I'd get a chance to play with the national team. Well, I just remember being with the 18s and a couple trips in the 20s would be the same hotel with us, like before their World Cup last two years ago. And I just thought like that'd be sweet to be with them. I knew that um, the coaches, uh, national coaches had been looking at me from then, so they kind of knew who I was. And uh, going to a smaller school, I knew I'd be getting a lot of time, so that really helped a lot. We all get along, have fun, and have some good times. I, mean, I love being with this team, you know, I think that everyone's working really hard, uh, you know, for the common goal, getting to the World Cup, and um, I mean, I wouldn't say that there's so many superstars, uh, but definitely people just tr working really hard um, for each other and for the country, you know, uh, trying to get to the World Cup, so it's an awesome feeling to be around these guys. It's more of a team effort, and uh, like, there's not that many popular players as like in the last two. So I guess it's more like we all have to work for each other. It's more of a collective effort, I think. I mean, to follow uh, in Freddie and Josie's footsteps, I mean, you got to be you got to be pretty happy to do that, you know, because those those are great players, and now they're playing in big time clubs in Europe. And uh, hopefully, we could qualify like they did, and go to the World Cup. I think we're capable of doing it. We just have to come out and play, give it our all each game. Our mentality heading into the game against El Salvador is we're looking forward to playing them and getting a win, you know? We're not looking to tie or lose, but because any game you go into, you just want to win. You want to prove yourself. You want to, you want to prove that you're the best, you know? Yeah, we have, a, we have a chance to qualify after the outcome of this game. And right now, we're just looking to go into this game and getting a, getting a W. Well, it's very important that you, uh, you establish uh, a core mentality for the common cause, so to speak, that everybody understands their roles. Uh, our reserves have been great in pushing our starters each and every day in, in, in practice. It's nice to hear that uh, Sam Garcia says every day I play against Kyle Davies, it makes me a better player because he's such a good defender and Kyle says, you know, some of Sam's qualities, his quickness uh, prepares me for opponents. So it's been, it's been very good from a chemistry standpoint and now in, in the third game we have to rely on some of those uh, guys to step up to the plate and, uh, and show their worth uh, and we know they will because they're here uh, because they deserve to be here. We're very proud of the way, uh, especially our younger guys, uh, in the pressure cooker to continue to, uh, to excel. I think there's something for us to, uh, to, to have on the attacking end, and if we continue to play well on the defensive end, uh, uh, we should be okay.